And at some point we decided that we wanted to lead a healthier lifestyle. So we went into a supermarket, much like we have here, similar to like a Whole Foods. And I walked up and down the aisle and I looked at the consumer products in the natural beauty space that were potentially trying to get my business as a customer. So I walked in with a customer problem. We always hear about walking in with a customer mindset. And I walked in with a customer problem and all of the products that were on that shelf didn't appeal to me. I, you know, my, my young team laugh at me when I call myself a millennial. But, and I'm not, I'm, I'm a millennial cuss. Um, but I walked in there, I was a mini driving, virgin flying, Apple using individual. And everything that was on the shelf there did not talk to me. They were brands that were developed, most of them, 20 years, some of which before I was born. And when I looked on the shelf, I was like, wow, this is not interesting. And none of them represented what I wanted to achieve in my life, which was positivity. The notion of yes. The notion of being different. So, very quickly, I made a decision to start up a brand called Yes To. Now, I want to explain to you what that meant. Here I was, somebody who had no formulation experience. I knew a little bit about the CPG space and I knew a little bit about the beauty space. But I called up my business partner and I said to him, Lance, he was living in, in Sydney at the time, we're going to start a skincare brand. And it's going to be called Yes to Carrots. That was the original first brand. And he told me, you don't sit down, stop smoking the weed that you're smoking. <laughs> we are not starting a brand called Yes to Carrots. It, it is, in my opinion to this day, still the stupidest name for a beauty brand ever thought of. Yet, for some reason, that Yes to Carrots brand and that word yes and Yes to Carrots made people smile. So we launched this little brand out of an office no bigger than the screen that I'm looking at right now, in a factory the size of this stage, and we went with six products into 16 stores in Israel. And then we had the audacious thought that what's a natural step, what's a natural progression from going from six products in 16 stores? All great. So I flew Rose 76B from Tel Aviv to Chicago, Illinois, to Deerfield. At the time, I stayed at the Marriott Suites because this place wasn't open. In my best $129 suit. And I walked in to the Walgreens headquarters. Now, at the Walgreens headquarters, I could see name tags. Who, who's been to Walgreens? So you get the Walgreens name tags. I could see. You know, Peter from Johnson & Johnson. I could see Jeff from Procter & Gamble. I could see Mary from Kellogg's. And I was Ido Leffler from Yester Carrots. It couldn't have been more out of place. But somehow, through a friend of a friend of a friend, I got given a 30-minute meeting with a woman called Michelle at Walgreens. Excuse me, excuse me, what's your name? Tara? Can I borrow you for a minute? Everybody give Kara a round of applause. Kara's going to be my... my, 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 my. Come on, come on, Kara. So, Kara, you know how to juggle, right? <laughs> no? <laughs> What's your name? Sorry. Okay. Come on, up, Kara. Um, so, Karen, Karen, yes? Yes. Okay. Karen, where are you from? Yeah. And, uh, this is perfect. Okay. So, okay. I want you to imagine we're about two miles from here at the old Deerfield you know, sales center, not the one where they're in right now, in the, in, the, in the buying team. And everybody's there wearing their things, and I'm wearing a, um, I was yes to carrots, so by the way, I was also wearing the world's most hideous orange tie. And Michelle, who is my, now what I'm about to show you, and is how, and, I, and I'll fast forward a little bit, what I'm about to show you is why I'm standing here right now. What happens in this little skit, if nothing else, if you hear nothing else in the next 43 minutes, this is it. Michelle walks towards me. 
Now, Michelle is wearing a pantsuit. She works at Walgreens. I'm wearing a $129 tie from a company called Just a Carrots. Michelle's walking towards me with that intention and look in her eye that if she can get out of this meeting in 18 minutes, she wins. I've flown across the world for a 30 minute meeting. She, this is an 18 minute meeting for her. She's doing somebody a favor. So Michelle walks towards me and holds her hand out. And for some reason, I move her hand up. Just hold it for two, three minutes. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, so, but for some reason, I move Michelle's hand out of the way. Now, if I didn't, you know sometimes in life things happen in slow motion, like when you get married, when your first child is born, like there's certain moments, this is my moment. Now, I realize at this point, it's doing great, I realize at this moment, at this, moment uh, this was going to be, this was the intersection of my career. This was either, this next millisecond, effectively, would change, make or change my, my life. And rather than shake her hand, and I don't know why I did this to this day, I leaned in, I gave her a big hug, I gave her a kiss on both cheeks. And I said, this is how we do it in Israel. And that moment, can you give Karen a round of applause? Uh, and that moment with Michelle, again, it was game changing, because all of a sudden she was completely thrown off her game. This 30 minute meeting became a three hour meeting. This 30 minute meeting, the first 30 minute minutes of that meeting was us building a relationship. A relationship that's lasted all the way to today where I was invited to her daughter's wedding. She's a dear, dear friend. I call her my fairy godmother. She doesn't like that, but she, M Michelle literally changed our lives. Because that 30, we didn't leave after that three hours and Michelle went, here is a check for five million dollars. No, we left with an intent and we left with questions. And I came back a few weeks later and I came back with some forwards and here we were though, a company with a factory this big in the big leagues. We had entered your domain. And if you want to picture the people who are stealing your market share, little bits at a time. Look no further. Because guys like me, girls, ladies like my, my wife and my, my team, and you know, we are here. And we're not smarter than you, and we don't have more data than you, but we're nicer than you, and we're friendlier than you. And we, we learned that retailers like to take more margin from us, so we give it to them. And we, we, we're faster, more dynamic, and frankly, we hug and kiss. 